Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Bo Webb. I'm from the Coal River Valley, West Virginia. Uh, I live directly beneath a 2,000 acre mountaintop removal site. It's right on top of me. Uh, nearly 4 million pounds of explosives are detonated every day in southern West Virginia. Uh, these, these explosives are diesel fuel and ammonia nitrate, the same bomb that Timothy McVeigh used in the Oklahoma City bombing terror that took place a few years ago. People living in these communities are being terrorized. Mountaintop removal is an unprecedented form of mining. It's actually only been taking place about 15 years, and the last 10 years ramped up, more aggressive, and ever-growing. I think what we're seeing today is the long-term effects of this continual blasting and these pollutants in the air. We're breathing ammonia nitrate, we're breathing diesel fuel, we're breathing a lot of silica from sandstone, which makes up a lot of West Virginia's rock formations. People are dying. And in the last year, year and a half, I have watched so many young people around me die. I can't take it no more. Uh, <clears throat> There have been numerous scientific studies in the past year and a half. Peer-reviewed science papers that conclude that mountaintop removal is harming human beings, is killing people in these communities. The EPA itself cited uh, their concern for the health effects in this spruce mine permit that they vetoed. It's a serious problem. And yet, we have these elected morons, J. J. Rockefeller, Joe Manchin, Nick Rahal, Shirley Capito, David McKinley, and I mean sociopathic morons. I don't know what else to call them. They refuse to acknowledge this science. Because if they acknowledge it, they're going to have to do something about it. And in my opinion, you don't get much lower than that. As a congressional representative of the people, you turn your back on them to prop up a criminal enterprise that has created illegal jobs and then tries to subvert democracy and change the law to prevent the EPA from doing their job to protect the waters of America and the people from industrial polluters. These agencies are created. Their mandate is to protect people. And EPA's job is to protect people from industry pollution. In West Virginia, we have a West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection. They were created to do the same thing. The problem there is they've become captured. The people are not well served when these agencies become captured agents. Our tax money poisoning our people. I've been involved in a, in, a, in a study, and I'm actively involved in a, in a health study right now on Cold River, and it is going uh, to be peer-reviewed here shortly, and there will be a paper on it. But I've been told by Dr. Michael Hendricks there's a couple things I can't comment on, and I'm going to tell you a couple things we've found so far uh, that will be in this published paper. We found that people on Cold River are more than twice likely to have cancer than those in Pocahontas County where Alan Johnson lives. And those in Pocahontas County also have high rates of cancer. If you live on Coal River, you, you have three times a greater risk of having cancer than anywhere in the United States of America. And this extra cancer is not being caused because of age, not smoking, not family history, or working as a coal miner. Birth defects are 30% higher in mountaintop removal communities. 30% than non-mountaintop removal areas. This is based upon 1.8 million births over the past eight years. These higher rates of birth defects are not due to mother's age, prenatal care, smoking, or drinking during pregnancy, or any other risk can be associated with it. What it boils down to here is that we have people that are dying, and we have a congressional represent representation that does nothing about it. We have state agencies that do nothing about it. We have fat cats on Wall Street that are financing and are getting rich off our sorry asses. That's right. And I am fed up and tired of it. 
They're killing people yeah. for money. That's yeah, what's right. going on here. That's right. And Joe Manchin and Jay Rockefeller and Nick Ray Hall especially are supporting them. And they're protecting them from the law and trying to change the law so they can continue to do it. So I just ask everyone here today, get on the phone, call these creeps, and ask them, who are they? I can't think of a more unpatriotic thing to do than what they're doing. That's right. They're Benedict Arnolds. They're treasonous. Yes, it's what's right. going on here. Democracy is a sham with these people. They're criminals. And I call the Justice Department to put them in jail. Every one of them. Yeah. I just go and think about this and, and look at what's taking place in southern West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, southwest Virginia, and eastern Tennessee. And these moron sociopaths in Congress are trying to create a situation where they can keep the EPA from doing their job so they can continue to murder people. Thank you.